What's up guys? Today's video is on the Canon OZ M3 Review 2023. The OZ M3 is the third compact system camera from Canon. The OZ M3 has an 24.2 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor, DIGIC6 processor, a touch screen interface, hybrid CMOS AF3 and 49.0 AF system, full 1080p HD movie mode, ISO 100 minus 12800, a 3 inches 1 million 40000 dot LCD monitor that tilts up 180 degrees and down 45 degrees, integrated Wi-Fi and NFC connectivity, 4. 2 FPS burst shooting. 14-bit RAW support, built-in pop-up flash and a flash hot shoe. The Canon OZ M3 is available with the 18 to 55 mm f divided by 3.5 minus 5.6 is STM lens for 599 pounds and 99 cents divided by 799 euros and 99 cents. An optional tilt type electronic viewfinder is also available. Use initial impressions of the new Canon OZ M3 are mostly favorable. Despite being one of the smaller compact system cameras currently on the block, the camera feels reassuringly solid and weighty when held in the palm, particularly so when the metal construction 18 to 55 mm kit zoom is screwed into place via the EFM mount. For a suggested total spend of a reasonable £599.99 divided by €799.99 for body and optic, this lens offers the 35mm equivalent focal range of 20-88mm. to Unlike a DSLR and most CSCs, we did manage to squeeze the OZ M3 with zoom attached into a jacket pocket, despite it not being particularly comfortable to do so. Our black version also had a slightly rough and non-slip feel to its surface subconsciously recalling a pro-grade DSLR. Canon have seen fit to add a proper hand grip to the OZ M3, something that was sorely missing from the original version, making it feel much more like a proper camera for enthusiasts. Of course it's what's inside that counts and here the jewel is an enthusiast-pleasing APS-C size sensor pumping out 24.2 megapixel images, with the choice of shooting in 14-bit RAW as well as JPEG, or both in combination. Choose any raw option though and you miss out on the ability to automatically apply digital filter effects in camera. Those options are simply deselected on the OZ M3S on-screen toolbar. Rival APS-C sensor incorporating CSCs include offerings from Sony, Samsung and Fujifilm. The LCD on the back of the Canon now tilts, up 180 degrees and down 45 degrees, although it cannot be swiveled to the side. The LCD is 3 inches in size and boasts a high 1040 Kelvin dot resolution. Furthermore, it's a touch screen, though you wouldn't automatically know it from looks alone, as we also get the basic physical controls ranged alongside it. Otherwise, the OZ M3 layout is pretty much business as normal for a consumer-level compact camera. The other obvious thing this Canon has going for it is that it is an OZ. This means in theory that users can utilize any of its manufacturer's 70-plus EF lenses and accessories. The former screwed into place with the aid of an adapter ring, albeit with a resultant front-heavy appearance. There's also the fact that said adapter costs an additional £160, also shared with EOS DSLRs and the Digic 6 processor that makes up the guts of the EOS M3, and the fact that sensor cleaning takes automatically place upon powering down the camera, not something typically witnessed with competing CSCs. There is now a pop-up flash built into the EOS M3S body, rather than the 90EX speedlight that shipped in some EOS M kits. The EOS M3's flash is more convenient, but only has a weak guide number of 5 along with a recycle time of 3 seconds. From the front then, the EOS M3 more closely resembles a power shot camera than an EOS DSLR, rounded corners stopping it looking completely boxy and in fact going one further and imbuing it with a smidge on of style. The form factor is compact enough that the EFM lens mount swallows up roughly half of the faceplate, with tiny left and right stereo microphones on either side, a porthole for a self-timer, a F-assist lamp located top right, and beneath that a springy and obvious lens release button. Left of the lens is located the new chunky hand grip. Comfortably, the shutter release button, which is encircled by a control dial, is positioned both forward of the top plate and on a section that dips down and slopes slightly forward. When holding the camera in the right hand your forefinger therefore automatically slips onto these ergonomic controls. So, once the camera is powered up, your fingers are suitably positioned to immediately fire off the first shot. Alongside is the new MFN button, which can be usefully assigned to one of 15 different functions. Canon have greatly expanded the options on the top-mounted shooting mode dial with 11 settings in total, no longer hiding the main PASM options away. Scene Intelligent Auto is still the camera's default setting which, as it sounds, is pretty much point and shoot all the way. The OZ M3 recognizing common scenes and subjects, which it does consistently and reliably, and optimizing the results for you. Hybrid Auto, Creative Assist, Scene Modes, and a range of creative effects round off the options for beginners. The Program, Shutter Priority, 
Aperture priority and manual options are also now featured on the shooting mode dial. Another nod to the EOS M3's attempt to appeal to more experienced photographers. There's even a new custom option so that you can save and quickly recall your favorite camera settings. The EOS M3 also now has a new dial on top for adjusting exposure. The options running plus divided by 3 EV. A press of the actual cue, set button on the back plate, or the small cue icon top right of screen in the above modes. And we're also presented with a range of picture style settings familiar from Canon DSLRs. For in-camera adjustment of shots pre-capture, the picture style selection comprises auto, standard, portrait, landscape, neutral, faithful, monochrome, plus three further user-definable settings. Sharpness, contrast, saturation and color tone can be individually adjusted for each. White balance and metering modes can further be manually selected if the user has chosen one of the P, A, S, M modes. Metering options comprise evaluative metering, partial metering, spot metering, and center-weighted average. As one might expect, there are several video quality selections to choose from. Running the gamut from the full HD 1920 by 1080 pixels at a maximum 30 frames per second. Stepping down to the industry standard 25 FPS and 24 FPS as our next options. And then on to 1280 by 720 pixels at a cinematic 50 FPS as a further choice. The lowest resolution video option is a bog standard 640 by 480 pixels. Though again at 25 FPS, a press of the top plate on, off button, which is recess level with the bodywork, powers the camera up for action in around 2 seconds. Squeeze the shutter release button and the EOS M3 now focuses in under half second, much quicker than the original EOS M whether you're shooting a highest resolution JPEG or JPEG in RAW in combination. There's barely a noticeable difference in the time it takes to commit either to removable media. Here an SD card of every description, sharing a compartment with the rechargeable lithium-ion battery at the base, with the vacant flash hachu and embedded mono speaker rounding off the top plate features. The rest of the controls on the backplate of the EOS M3 likewise look familiar, or will do so to anyone used to a digital snapshot camera of any description. A subtly curved thumb pad sits top right of the rear panel, while small video record and playback buttons rest to the right of it. The action of these is commendably stiff, so avoiding inadvertent recording or playback when you're merely in the process of attempting to establish a firm hold of the EOS M3, directly beneath our AEL and focus area buttons. Both very welcome additions that once again are designed to appeal to more experienced users. Sitting beneath we have the multi-directional control dial and surrounding scroll wheel we've already touched upon. Ranged around this are ISO speed, flash, delete and manual focus options. At the very center is the Q, set button for implementing the various changes applied throughout the course of handling the camera, and exploring the options offered within, again as previously described above. The OZ M3's Wi-Fi capabilities allow you to share images during playback via the up button on the navigation pad. Simply enter a nickname for the camera and five more icons then appear, connecting the EOS M3 to another camera, a smartphone, a computer, a printer and the internet respectively. Setup is relatively straightforward for each scenario. Although you'll need a basic understanding of the protocols involved, note that you need to install the dedicated and free Canon camera window app to connect the EOS M3 to an iOS or Android device. The EOS M3's Wi-Fi functionality is employed to tag your images with GPS data recorded by your smartphone via the Canon camera window app, which effectively replaces a more conventional built-in GPS system. We actually prefer having GPS built into the camera rather than having to sync it with an additional device. So in this regard the EOS M3 doesn't compare well with rivals that offer this feature, although it does sidestep the issue of negatively affecting battery life. The EOS M3 also features NFC technology, which allows you to connect it to a compatible internet-enabled device or another NFC-enabled camera by simply tapping them together. The info button toggles through the various display modes on the LCD screen, including a useful control panel that, as the camera is touch-sensitive, makes it easy to quickly change the key setting. The menu button calls up the sort of screen selection and near enough the exact same layout that, unsurprisingly, one would nowadays see on a consumer-level DSLR such as the 750 divided by 760 d with a series of folders covering both basic camera operation and setup. A lot of the camera options obviously doubling up on the on-screen icons and options presented when in the various shooting modes, as we've previously described, with lugs for attaching a camera strap provided either side of the EOS M3 on the left-hand flank. If viewing the camera from the back as the user will be doing when engaged in operation, we find not only the expected a V, USB output, but also one for supplementary microphone. Joining them is a new switch for popping up the built-in flash, and a logo denoting the camera's NF connectivity. On the right flank is the HDMI port. 
The base of the camera meanwhile features a screw thread located directly behind the lens mount for the attachment of a tripod. And over to one edge we naturally get the compartment for media card and battery. Unlike an increasing number of compact system cameras, we do actually get a standalone mains charger with the OZ M3, so the battery can be removed and charged independently of the body, which means that if you do sensibly invest in a spare, the camera isn't tied up each time you need to recharge. Quality All of the sample images in this review were taken using the 24 megapixel fine JPEG setting which gives an average image size of around 8 megabits. The Canon OZ M3 produced images of excellent quality during the review period. This camera produces noise-free JPEG images from ISO 100 all the way up to ISO 160, with noise first appearing at ISO 32. The faster settings of 640 and 12800 display relatively little noise, certainly suitable for small prints and web images. The JPEG images were a little soft straight out of the camera using the default picture style and ideally require some further sharpening in an application like Adobe Photoshop, or you can change the in-camera setting. The built-in flash worked well indoors, with no red eye and good overall exposure. The night photograph was very good, with the maximum shutter speed of 30 seconds and the bulb mode allowing you to capture enough light in all situations. The different picture styles and the ability to create your own are a real benefit as are the extensive range of digital filter effects, all of which can be previewed before you take the shot. File quality The Canon EOS M3 has two different image quality settings available, with fine being the highest quality option. Here are some 100% crops which show the quality of the various options, with the file size shown in brackets. Conclusion The new Canon EOS M3 is a much more serious compact system camera than the original EOS M that we reviewed back in 2012. It offers a raft of improvements clearly aimed at making it more enthusiast-friendly, along with a big reduction in the launch price. Still, there are some rather big flies in the ointment which mean that the OZ M3 lags behind the mirrorless competition, most notably the lack of a built-in viewfinder and the continued lack of native EFM lenses. While the OZ M3 is undoubtedly a much better camera than the OZ M, it still seems that Canon aren't fully committed to producing a complete mirrorless system, so much so that we'd recommend you consider offerings from Sony, Fujifilm, Panasonic and Olympus instead, all of whom are fully invested in compact system cameras. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. And if you have something to say, please leave a comment.